this is unit 205 in River Four. This building was built in 07 and it's at the end of Beach Parkway off of Del Prado and it is right on the Caloosahatchee River. You do have underbuilding parking, secure building, secure parking, a designated boat slip, trash chute on every floor, there's a nice clubhouse, and air-conditioned storage on the first floor for everyone. Now there's some dated items that I believe they're willing to negotiate on price. Here there's probably original paint from what I can tell and some original flooring. So you walk in to a foyer, trade ceiling, crown molding. These French doors to a bedroom and or office. There is a closet and the slider goes out to this balcony. So a very unique property that has more outdoor living space than most homes have. So it's a four bedroom, three bathroom. This is the primary. Let's do the whole unit and then I'll come back. Cause as you walk in, then this is your living area, kitchen, dining, all open. They are all hurricane impact windows and sliders. There is crown molding through here, wood cabinets, granite counters, a nice laundry room and a utility room. If you want white cabinets, there's a new product Sherwin-William has. It's called Beyond Paint. All you do is clean them, no sanding required, and you paint. Two coats, very easy to do, and they look professional. Another tray ceiling with crown molding. It's got recessed lighting here. It is a microwave and wall oven. I'm sure those are probably original appliances. So this is overlooking JC Park. And that's the Caloosahatchee River. There is a dedicated boat lift, uh, slip and lift, it's 10,000 pounds. This is all screened. The community pool is just right there also, so you can see the river from the pool and spa area. So this slider is from the second full ensuite bedroom. This would be the primary ensuite. Then you have this complete area out here. An incredible amount of area out here. You'd be, catch all the evening sunsets. And that slider comes from when you first walked in, that bedroom den is where that slider is. So it's an incredible amount of space. And now it looks like, you know, the HOA needs to probably do some exterior painting here. I believe screen replacements responsibility of the owner So looking back in, I don't know that they, they've got this staged, um, so two tables I don't believe would be necessary here. Okay, so let's check out the bedrooms. Leaving the kitchen area, you have your laundry room and storage. 
cabinetry, laundry sink, extra cabinetry, washer and dryer go here. And then this is the mechanics closet. Um, it's a big AC, 510, 16C are replaced in 18 and the hot water heater was replaced in 15. Again, this is original paint color from when it was built. Now they've taken the carpet from this bedroom and put down some different tile. And then this is a guest bath. So the hallway has a pocket door to close this area off for your guests, but this would be the main guest bathroom. Just a tub shower combo. And this would be considered your master bedroom, or I'm sorry, the, the second ensuite. This would not be the master, this is the second ensuite. Look at a few staging pictures to give you an idea of furniture placement. Pocket door into the bathroom, nice big walk-in shower, single vanity, but there is counter space. Nice closet organization. Now this has been painted with a light blue. This is back down the hallway towards the front door. That's crack in the tile there. It's the only thing I've really noticed on this tile, the carpet. So this would actually be the true master bedroom. The jacuzzi tub, there is a linen closet, double vanity, walk-in shower, water closet. Building is sprinklered. This is a nice big shower. Surprisingly, no built-in bench. And just one shower head, but it is a big shower. Generous walk-in closet with, again, organization and storage. And a very spacious bedroom. And the slider out to the screen lanai. So we're back to the front door. So the den, primary bedroom, open living space, second ensuite bedroom. Then the third bedroom and the bath and laundry room there. So just to give you an idea of how it flows. There's a couple of more units in here for sale. There's an inside unit and then there's a unit on the other end of the building. So I'd be more than happy to video also if you think a condo is something you'd be interested in. This is definitely in the luxury condo category.